Mark Twain once said, the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. Once you know why you were put here on earth, what your greater purpose here is, life will never be the same. Having clarity of purpose is important, not only for individuals, but for groups of all kinds, especially for families. Just like a traveler, without a map or a compass to keep you on track, you can easily get lost and lose sight of your goal. Our mission is like a map, which helps us to plot our course in life and gives purpose and meaning to each day and a sense of significance to everything we do. Our values are like a compass that helps point us in the right direction. Our three core values are work, play, and care. We value work because we know that the only way to achieve dreams is to work for them. Anything attained easily is not valued. We'd rather work our fingers to the bone at something we believe in and fail than to not have tried at all. We value play because we believe there is an epidemic of fear, stress, and anxiety in the world today. And if we could just learn to play again, like we did when we were kids, we could avoid falling into the same trap. And finally, care, which for us means to create a remarkable experience by leaving the people we meet and the places we visit a little better than we found them. This value gives significance and meaning to our journey, and we are thankful for the opportunities we've had along the way to show that we care. This is like, you want me to put it on my neck? I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Once you have clarity of purpose and values, it's important to review them as a family from time to time. As we close out season six of the Epic Family Road Trip and make preparations for the next chapter of our journey, we are doing just that. In 2015, when my dad's family business sold, we all decided to embark on an epic family road trip together. The question my parents get asked the most is what made you decide to actually do it? <laughs> my 
mom and dad didn't make the decision for financial reasons. In fact, the most financially beneficial thing to do would have been for my dad to accept one of the executive positions he was being offered and to collect a handsome salary these past six years. But realizing that us kids were growing up fast and wouldn't be home forever, mom and dad acted on the values most important to them and to us. One, to spend more time together as a family and to create our own path. As parents of preteens, they knew that whoever we were spending the most time with were the ones actually raising us. Whether it was our teachers at school, our friends, or even worse, the internet, they believed it was their job, responsibility, and calling to raise us kids. In order to do that, we would need to design a life where we could spend lots of quality time together. They realized that for kids, love is spelt T-I-M-E. They said they could always earn more money, but they could never get more time. As kids, we all agreed that time is more valuable than money and experiences are more valuable than things. But in order to be able to afford this new life, we would need to make some drastic life changes. We would need to learn to live simply and minimally. We would need to sell our house and most of our belongings. We would need to be willing to sleep in a tent about 300 days out of the year and learn how to cook outdoors. We would need to learn to make an income while on the road that would complement our family life and pay the bills. There would be risk involved, but if we were willing to take it, then maybe, just maybe, we could make this work. This simplified lifestyle would also allow us to create some remarkable experiences together while supporting another of our values. To unplug and spend more time outdoors in nature. We live in a day and age where there is more connectivity than ever before, and yet fewer real connections. As we've traveled, we've seen way too many families sitting around restaurant tables staring at their phones or kids looking down as they drive past magnificent mountains and ancient forests. While technology definitely has its place, they wanted to raise us in the real world. to learn more about how people live in other countries, cultures, and religions. We wanted to travel to second and third world countries to open our eyes to a bigger worldview. These experiences have taught us to be more compassionate and caring for our fellow man. It has instilled in us a deep thankfulness for our way of life and for the freedom we all enjoy here at home. Our next value is to overcome our fears and live free. We've realized that most of the things that tie us down are of our own making. And most of our fears are due to a lack of understanding and knowledge about a person, place, or situation. to toughen up and be more self-reliant by continually learning new skills. With all the comforts of modern day living, we found ourselves getting soft. We wanted to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. 
We wanted to learn how to gather our own food and preserve it, and over the years, how to live off the land. Next is to overcome adversity and keep going. We wanted to teach ourselves resilience. We knew there would be hardships along the way, and we wanted to be in the mindset to get up and keep going. No one knows this better than Peter, who after being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, kept a good attitude, stayed mentally strong, and learned how to manage his condition. He never let it slow him down. Finally, to share our message with the world through storytelling. We all have a story to tell, a story that needs to be heard. If it can help or inspire one person, then it is worth telling. And if it is worth telling, then it is worth telling in the best way possible. We receive messages almost daily from people around the world who are inspired by our story. These past few years, we've heard from people who are locked down, longing to see the dark night sky or smell the fresh air of the forest again. We hear from people who are suffering terrible anxiety and depression, and our videos are an escape for them, and give them a renewed hope and a desire to keep fighting. To never give up. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. Thanks for taking me around the world on so many epic adventures. For the past two years, we've been spending so much time together, and you've, you're you not only my mom, you're my friend. When we look around and see what's going on in the world, we are comforted by the words of David the Psalmist, who said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.